Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Isis the Enchantress. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. So today I wanted to show you guys how I did these super long, super cute, super easy Marley twists. I just wanted to do a low maintenance hairstyle since all the salons are closed. And if you're interested in other tutorials like this, then I'll link my second channel in the description box. So here I am in my quarantine attire showing you all what I'm going to use to wash and condition my hair. I'm using the OGX brand Coconut Miracle Oil Shampoo. And to deep condition my hair, I'm going to use the Cream of Nature Argan Oil from Morocco. And with that, I'm just going to deep condition my hair with the shower cap and plastic bag. So let's do this. So I'm going to deep condition my hair underneath my shower cap for about an hour. I'm also going to take this time to promote myself. As you all know, I do crochet things. I crochet this really cute top. So if you're interested in this or any other crochet items, I'm going to link my crochet Instagram in the description box as well. I'm also going to take this time to self care. I'm going to put on a face mask. So I guess I picked this one and I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to probably clean up or something. So give me one sec. I'm not sure how I grew a pimple that fast, but it's okay. My hair is all clean and blow dried out. So I'm ready to prep my hair for my braids. And this is what I'm using. I have jam conditioning gel with the orange top. You need some kind of gel to hold your braids in place. You're also going to need a comb to part your hair. And I like using this rat tail comb because when you're wearing braids, it's really important to have really neat parts. And with these rat tail combs, they part your hair with the best precision ever. Look at that. Next, you're going to need your hair. I got eight packs of the Femi Collection Kinky Twist Braid Marley Style Hair in the color 1B-27. This is what the color looks like. And I also got two different styles, so I like the Remy feeling better than the original Marley hair because it's softer and more manageable. And this part is optional, but I'm going to shave the back of my neck around my kitchen area because sometimes I grow BBs back there. And when you're wearing your hair in a high bun, that could be very unsightly. And then I'm going to go back and use some alcohol to wipe the area to ensure that I don't grow any hair bumps or ingrown hairs. Alright guys, and here comes the fun part. I'm using my handheld mirror to look behind me and my big bathroom mirror to ensure that I part my hair as straight as possible. And then I'm going to go back with my jam just to gel everything down in their own sections. Then I'm going to go back and part my hair as big as I want my boxes to be for my braids. So I don't want my braids to be too big. I actually want a medium size so I didn't part off a lot of hair. Eventually, I did end up going to my mom's house and letting my sister part my hair for me. And then she went back and wrapped rubber bands around the sections to ensure that I don't lose any spaces. I only had her do that to the back since I could see the front. So with the front, all I did was just part my hair off exactly how I wanted it. And I made my spaces and my boxes as precise as I could. And I'm going to show you all how to actually attach the hair onto your head. So depending how long you want your braid to be is how long you're going to stagger your hair. So if you want your braid shorter, you're going to pull the hair down like together and make the ends meet. But if you want the hair to be longer, you're going to make sure that the ends stagger like how I have them staggering like this. And you're also going to like comb or brush out the ends to make sure that they blend in together when you're actually twisting the hair together. If you know how to three strand plait or three strand braid, then this hairstyle should not be difficult for you to complete. You're just going to take the two fake pieces of hair and make them your outer pieces of hair. And you're going to make your real hair the middle piece of hair that would usually be in the plait. And then you're just going to braid the fake hair onto your real hair. And when your real hair gets in the middle section, so you see how it's the middle section now, when it comes back in the middle section for a second time, you could either do it a second or a third time. I just do a second time so it doesn't look like a braid throughout the whole plait. You're just going to take it and you're going to separate it into two sections. And then you're going to start twisting your hair together like a Marley twist. 
And then you also want to ensure that none of your hair in any other section is getting caught up in the braid, which is why I keep pushing my hair to the side. And this part may take a long time, but you're going to twist it all the way down to the end. This is what the back looks like. Everything is super cute and super neat. And I'm going to explain how to braid one more time. You're going to take the two fake pieces of hair and attach it onto your real pieces of hair by doing a regular plait, a regular three strand braid. And when your real hair comes in the middle for the second time, so you're going to braid once. Then you're going to braid again until your real hair comes in the middle section. You're going to break it into two sections and start twisting it together with the Marley hair all the way down until you get to the end. And like any hairstyle you do on yourself, this is going to require patience and it's going to be an arm workout. So get you some snacks, find you something to watch, but it's going to be well worth it in the end because your hair is going to be so cute. Now, when you're done with your whole head, this next part is super important, but you need to be very careful because you're going to be dealing with hot water. You're going to take a pot of water and place it on the stove, turn it on high until it starts to boil. And when the water is nice and hot, you're going to take the pot off the stove and then you're going to dip the ends of your hair into the water. And carefully, you're going to take a towel and remove your hair from the hot water and squeeze out any of the excess water. Dipping your ends in the hot water ensures that your ends don't come loose so your ends will be secured. If your hair is like nappy or if it's fuzzy, dipping it in hot water makes it more sleek and shiny. And to me, it actually makes it more weightless. So, I don't know if you could tell when I first started braiding my hair, the hair looked more thicker, but after I dipped it, it looked more uniform and together. And now you're all done. Look at my hair. It's so beautiful. It's so long. So, I'm just taking some edge control and just sleeking my edges back into that one braid. And the good thing about this is, since you did these braids, you can take them a loose and redo them if you need to. So if one of your braids gets loose, you can redo it. Or if you just want to take them all down and wash your hair and then redo it, you can do that. And this is what the finished product looks like. I look so cute. I put some beads at the end of my hair. And in this clip, I'm just putting my hair in a really high bun. Um, be careful when you're doing this because if you have a lot of hair, then having that much hair on your head, like trying to balance that much weight on your neck could cause an injury, could cause you to pinch your neck. So please be mindful and be very careful. But most importantly, enjoy your new hairstyle because you did it yourself. You put yourself on fleek. You didn't need help from nobody. And you is going to be so bad this summer. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. As always, be safe. And I love you guys. Bye.